can I ask you a question actually about Deep Impact? That Anything. movie um, was a big influence on me when I was a kid. I loved that movie, and it was uh, it was it's something I really remember going to see with my mum in the cinema. Um, huge, obviously, budget, massive, massive film. But I do seem to remember at the time there was a rival movie um, in that Armageddon was coming out around the time they both yeah. kind of in in the UK anyway. They were kind of coming out at the same time. Were you aware that when you were shooting the movie, this was going to be a thing or? Well, in the middle of shooting the movie, we realized that's when we heard Armageddon was happening. And um, it was, uh, we were way ahead of them in terms of our schedule. And um, yeah, you know, uh, you know, that was, you know, both films made a ton of money. Both films were very successful. Um, my film, our film, was more science-based and story-wise far more emotional, far more, in my, in my point of view, far more, you know, not just about saving the world and the end of the world and about a comet coming to kill us all, but about if you knew a comet was coming and you knew it was the end of the world as we know it, what would you do in that time that you had to live? What would you do with your life if you knew, I have six months? It's, you know, a little bit different than, or very similar to someone who is sick and has six months to live. But if you're not sick and you're vital and you know it's gonna end, what would you do? How would you live your life? And that was the theme of the movie to me. And I think that's why it affected so many people because I think we think about that a lot. At least I do, <laughs> you know, life, death, you know, what, how is the best way to live our lives? And what, you know, what is the purpose? And so that was the theme of the movie. And so yes, 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 there was not competition on my end but it was very interesting at my premiere when I turned around and someone said, Mimi, have you met Michael Bay? And he was at my premiere. And I found that to be very interesting. And I'll leave that with you. I won't go further, but he hadn't finished his movie. And, um, or maybe he did some reshoots after he saw my movie. I don't know. All I know is, that he was there and it was very strange. <laughs> That's when it got strange for me.